Okay, got my uh, air conditioner out of the camper here, and we're gonna see if we can make a run on a thousand watt generator. Now I've seen a video where a guy did this, and knowing a little bit about start capacitors, I thought maybe I could make it happen. Right there, that's a Sportsman thousand. That is an inverter one. And that thing's quiet, ain't it? For a thousand watts, it's sitting right there running. We're gonna fire this air conditioner up and. Uh, Pretty sure we're going to stall this thing out. Then we're going to put in the uh, start capacitor and see if it'll run it. There's the fan. Here's the air. Okay. Well, it definitely killed it. Let's get that start capacitor in there. Yeah, we got her all tore apart, and uh, man, there ain't much to hooking this thing up. Uh, all you do is take your little power boost here, that's what this one's called, and uh, plug it into your, your capacitor in the appropriate spot. Hope I got them in the right spots. And uh, man, that's all there is to it. You're, you're good to go. So uh, let's fire this generator up and uh, See what happens. That was rather disappointing. Yeah, after such a dismal failure, I decided it's time to get out the meters and see what we really got going on. So I got my little meter here plugged into the uh, air conditioner and this, they call it a kilowatt. Man, it's a handy little deal. It shows you how many wattage, what kind of wattage, whatever you plug into it's running. So first we're gonna turn the fan on. That's, that's low. Low fan, we're pulling 51 watts. Let's go, uh... High fan, 56 watts. Now right, we're gonna go low fan. We're gonna kick this air conditioner on. We're gonna see this wattage jump. Like I say, initially these will spike pretty hard to get them started and that's what kills the generator. If you can get it started and get it running, you're good to go. Problem is getting it started. Okay, let's fire that compressor up and see what happens. Man, at the absolute worst, I've seen this air conditioner only pulling about 368 watts. I got a 400 watt Honda I might plug into this just to see what happens. Uh, Really not sure why my uh, sportsman can't handle that. Since it's a uh, thousand watt max, 800 running watt generator. A little disappointed. Uh, 377, 378. It's nowhere near 800, and the startup was less than that. We might unhook this run capacitor and start it up, or the start capacitor one time, just to see, just to see what happens. See how much difference wattage this thing makes. All right, maybe we'll do that. Okay. Well, after that dismal failure the last time, we did a little research, went to the, went to the school of Google there, and uh, discovered that uh, you don't just slap a uh, start capacitor into a system like this uh, and there's some, some serious calculations involved with getting the right one on it uh, the little Supco one that I bought uh, man, don't let that advertiser get you huh uh, was about mm, 80 microfarads 75 80 microfarads I know what microfarads are now uh, the one 
we bought for it after some very rough calculations, and, and that's the best you're going to get is rough calculations. We discovered we need one up around 400. So we bought one that's running about 360, and well, let's see what happens. Cow, the fan alone shut it down. switch position all messed up. I think we're off now. Go to fan. Okay, there's fan and it's working and that was working before, so nothing new there. Low pool, which is where I think I went the last time. It's starting to look to me like this little project is a bust. 